Hi Virgo, welcome to your September Love Tower reading. So Virgo, we're looking at whatever you need to know, whatever messages come out, taking it as it comes about your love situation at this time. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Virgo, we have the Fury Tarot here. I use it as an Oracle deck. We're going to get you some opening messages with this deck and then we'll jump to your reading. All right, Virgo, welcome in. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary. This is Sunlight Insight Tarot. So Virgo, if you've noticed, I've been away for a little bit here. Uh, work, just a lot going on. So I'm working on a schedule here to post on a regular basis. So hopefully you'll see readings um, every day, I'm hoping. All right, Virgo, so let's see what is going on. Let's take a look here. Two of Swords. Indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for, your, for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. Two is about choices, decisions, partnerships, and unities. Life experience. So we have the tower here. 16, which is 7. Sevens are a little, you know, tough and challenging. They are divinely guided energy, but, you know, a little, little tough. But, you know, spirits working with us. Let go of belief systems that no longer may work for you. An important life-changing event. A situation that leads to significant opportunities. Four of Swords. Oh my goodness, what's going on here, Virgo? So we have set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation, the need for more sleep, or a vacation. A lot of mental activity here. Four and the Two of Swords. Nine of Wands. Protect the fruits of your labors. Prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead. Environmental conservation. Um, Virgo, it looks like here big big decision to make but having a big awakening epiphany aha moment on that decision that you need to make that you've been thinking about heavily here with the four of swords but not really taking action on it because i see you struggling with it definitely there's a big big struggle here some wake up call is about to happen or has happened um and you will need to make a decision so we have the four and the two of swords which would be the Six of Swords, which would be about moving into peace, harmony, balance, leaving all this behind you. So definitely this, uh, ex whatever this experience was, uh, you know you need to make a decision about it and take action, but you're kind of struggling here. And not really taking action, but something may push you to do that, and it could be, you know, the tower stepping in too, to move you in a better direction. Definitely here. Okay, Virgo. It feels like you're stuck in a situation and the universe is going to help push you out of it. And definitely it could be a relationship because this is a love reading, basically. But let's see. All right. Virgo. Let's see. So if you're like, oh, I know that already happened. Well, that could be. Maybe this is about new love coming in. Could be a little unexpected with the tower as well. Because that could be a surprise. Uh, unexpected things. It could be good. It can be bad. Or just an awakening and a big change. But let's see. Let's see what's going on here for Virgo. September love tarot reading. So we have the Tarot de la Nui here. So we're going to do your reading with this deck. And then we have the Work Your Light Oracle. And we'll get you some of those uh, messages at the end as well. All right. So let's see what's going on here for Virgo. September love. Let's see. Hangman. Hey, wow. Okay. Yep. Page of Cups. Three of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. There's a Nine of Wands showing up twice on the bottom of the deck. Wow. What I see here, Virgo, is this stuck energy. Definitely, it could be... Um, Okay, for some of you, this is someone new that you're dating with the Three of Cups here. And the Page of Cups can be new. Uh, new inclinations of romance. But something feels off, something feels stuck. Hangman. And you're trying to pinpoint it here. Nine of Pentacles. A very single, stable, grounded energy. 
Uh, five of Pentacles, that was the lack. So there's a lot lacking here. Some of you may, um, I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is a strong, independent energy, single. You know, you can make it on your own. But then the Five of Pentacles is lack or worry about maybe, you know, stability and struggling here with the Nine of Wands. Some of you are struggling like, well, you know, if I'm alone, I don't know how long I can remain stable and grounded on my own. So don't fall into being with someone just to be in a comfortable place. I'm feeling that too. So there's definitely struggling about this. Like I struggle with worrying about my longevity and stability on my own. But if you are dating somebody new, you may be like, okay, this is the one, you know, and, but there's something off about it too, because we do have the five of pentacles and the hangman feels a little stuck, like things aren't really moving either. So that could be where the decision comes in here that you're struggling with about this. So this definitely could be an experience for you, like learning to be independent and single and not worrying so much about your stability, that you can do it on your own and you don't have to settle, you don't have to fall into comfort measures or anything like that. So we got two cards of Pisces showing up here. Hmm. Okay. But Virgo, let's see what else we need to know. What else do we need to know here for Virgo? Virgo, September love. Let's see. What do we need to know? All right, these two. King of Swords, energy showing up here. Ten of Swords. Hmm. Could be that some of you have, you know, there's just been an ending with something that's been very cold. The King of Swords showing up. Emperor reversed. That's not a great energy either. Knight of Cups. Seven of Cups. Confusion, illusion here. Seven of Wands reverse. I feel like this is an energy of being too open and vulnerable and left with confusion, illusion, like almost like self denial, like denying. You know, yeah, no, this is fine, this is fine. <laughs> like I keep that um, meme like this is fine. That's that's what I'm feeling here. It's not fine. It's not fine. Somebody could be divorced in the picture. Maybe it's you. Maybe someone that you're hoping things are going to work out. But I, I'm not sure about that. Ten of Swords is definitely an ending. The Emperor Reverse is not a good energy either. This could be someone controlling, overbearing, egotistical. Um, not a good energy here. But the Knight of Cups. So I'm just believing, you know, my heart, my intuition. There's a lot of confusion. Illusion. And being like uh, like a little too open and vulnerable when we really need to stand up for ourselves, do what's best for us. So we got Gemini, Aries, Scorpio. All right, let's see. Virgo, what's going on here? All right, let's see. What else do we need to know for Virgo? What else do we need to know about this? For Virgo, if it's not you... Um, I could say you could switch energies around. Maybe it's someone you're dealing with that you want to have that full-blown relationship with. And maybe they're going through this right now where they're not leaving a situation where they should be leaving. But let's see. So, I mean, it could be that way. It could be the other way uh, around, too. Let's see. What else do we need to know for Virgo? Okay, so let me ask. Are we, for the majority of the people watch, Virgo's watching this, are we talking about this is Virgo's energy? So the next card will be a yes or a no. Two of Pentacles. Well, that's maybe. <laughs> half yes, half no. Okay. <laughs> Empress would be yes. Sun would be yes. But let's see. Nine of Cups reversed. Which is not really that great. Page of Wands reversed. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. Hmm. On the fence, on the fence, on the fence. But Empress here is about believing in oneself, being strong, courageous, and brave. New beginnings. Empress gives birth to new cycles and new beginnings. 
Sun is pure enlightenment, happiness, joy, love, stability, growth, expansion. Nine of Cups reverse, that was not getting our wishes and needs met. Page of Wands is not a great energy either. Like, no, I get a yucky energy with that. But we do have the Two of Cups here, which is good. It almost feels like here, Virgo, there's a Two of Cups trying to come in. But there's another energy here of blocking. Um, so the Tower could be trying to bring in this Two of Cups for you. But because there's a stuck energy about this other situation, it's like the Tower is like, okay, Virgo, you need to break away from this and be on your own and strong and confident. So you can let, so I can bring you this Two of Cups that's trying to come in. Or someone you're dealing with. So we have Libra, Taurus, uh, Leo, Sag. Sun is the happiest card in the deck. And the Empress, like, thinking about it, but just kind of sitting there on the fence, basically. I'm getting such a negative energy with this page. This could be some of your staying with that is just toxic. Just toxic. And it's like, break free, be on your own. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Don't worry. Just do it, be on your own for a while, and boom, here comes a soulmate, the Two of Cups. Very pure energy here, too. I'm not telling anyone what to do, but, you know, it's kind of what I see. But Virgo, let's see um, what else we need to know. Like I said, if it's not you, it could be someone that you're wanting uh, a chance with or something, or maybe... You've been talking about being together, but they're not leaving their situation for some reason. It could be that too, but let's see. Someone needs to leave a situation. They're worried about leaving it, and the, the tower's trying to deliver the soulmate connection, but someone has to leave something else first. All right. Virgo, what else do we need to know about this for Virgo? The sun is trying to come through and there's like all this darkness around it. The fool. Yeah. Okay. Nine of swords reverse. Uh, that's definitely what I just said. I'll explain in a minute. Justice. The world. Endings and new beginnings. Six of one. Success. Victory. And on the bottom of the deck. Six of pentacles. Balance. Balance. Reciprocity, that is like the minor of justice, which we have right here. So what I see is this energetic reset, fresh, clean slate, start, new beginning, no baggage, leaving all that behind us, taking that leap of faith, just doing it, no worry, no stress, nine of swords reverse. Justice here, soul contracts, past life, things meant to be, universal law and order, getting what we deserve. Could be marriage or divorce. Um... The world, though, is endings and new beginnings. Maybe distance here could also be online connections for some. But success here and reciprocity and balance with the Six of Pentacles. Two sixes. Which sixes are very healing, balanced energy. So this soul contract, soulmate energy trying to come in is very balanced. Could be very successful. The new beginning is here. It's kind of written out by the universe already. Someone needs to not just needs to not just not stress and just take action and do what's best and take that leap. Could be happening right now because we have the fool, which is zero. Gives me kind of like no time frame attached to it, which gives me the energy. It could be any time now or right now as the tower. So we have Aquarius, Libra, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. All right, let's see. There we go. So let's see, we'll do one more line and see what else we need to know. But if this resonating so far or you're enjoying this Virgo, please do like, comment, all the great things. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, Virgo. One more line for Virgo. What does this mean? What else do we need to know for Virgo? What else do we need to know here for Virgo? Let's see. The wheel, it's luck, it's de destiny, it's fate, growth, expansion, moving in the right direction, positive, positive energy, queen of swords, you know, standing up for herself, telling it like it is, self-protection, clarity, 
that could mean divorce for some, kind of showing up again. King, Queen of Swords here. So definitely communication is key here between two people. Honesty too. A lot of coming out here about communication. Six of Cups with the past. The moon. But this fear about dealing with this energy. King of Pentacles. I feel like this is a, this is you, Virgo. That is you. I was feeling like it was a separate energy, but I feel like this is you having fear about something you've been dealing with in your life for a long time, stemming back from the past. Honesty, clarity needs to happen, self-protection, telling it like it is so that your life can move forward in a new direction of luck, growth, and expansion. And I feel like it's this Two of Cups and energy. Whether this is somebody you already know um, or not, but there is a Two of Cups here waiting to happen. So Virgo, we have you right here, but like I said, there's some fear with the moon here. Pisces again, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Sag, Leo, of course, Taurus, Scorpio. There is a King, Queen of Swords. There is a match here. So sometimes that's my divorce people of the deck. So I don't know if this is someone you're divorced from the past. Maybe this energy is still lingering for some. But I don't think this is someone returning, not with the Six of Cups. I mean, it does mean that, but it also can be things of the past. And there's fear surrounding that. But let's see what else we need to know. Temperance. Yeah, there's a soulmate alignment here. Patience, healing, balance. Love, light, joy, harmony. Divine alchemy brings soulmates together. So there's a soulmate energy trust trying to come together here, whether you know this person or not. In the very near future, if not now, three of wands. But there's a lot of self-sabotage here. Five of swords. There's that ace of cups, brand new beginning in love. That the, did I not say the tower is trying to bring it in? Look at that tower again with the ace of cups. The tower has a big delivery for you. Big, big delivery. But a choice and a path has to be made and it's about speaking your mind and not keeping everything inside don't worry about heartache or pain i think you're going to be fine massive healing and a wish dream coming true things meant to be and clarity from the divine here truth clarity communication and here's a single energy the hermit and the hierophant so this is a big level up here big big level up here all right All right, we got Sagittarius here. So we're going to get some Work Your Light cards here and see what else what else we need to know. All right, Virgo, what else does Virgo need to know regarding this? What does Virgo need to know regarding this situation? Let's see. Also, Virgo, everything you need to know is down below. My playlist, my playlist, why did I say that? <laughs> My website is down there and um, lots in the description box as well. So you can check that out. All right, Virgo, you have a heavy soulmate alignment waiting to happen. Tower is getting ready to bring it in. Definitely, like, did I say that here? Someone needs to let go of something first. So this new connection, this connection can come in, come together, be delivered. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north um, exactly so it's about not overthinking you, you, someone knows exactly what they need to do here no wait pause saying no but someone keeps saying no <sighs> the ever unfolding rose cracked open it's happening for you not to you and i did say the tower may make something happen here to push this uh some the more someone resists and says no or it's out of fear or whatever then the universe is going to step in here and crack it wide open. So it can happen for you. For it to happen here. For this alignment to happen. Let's see. A lot of pink here, which can indicate new love. Sisterhood of the Rose. So a lot of rose showing up here. Beauty and devotion. Priestess, mystic, teacher. So definitely new love energy I'm getting. And a lot of beauty and devotion, which is actually a good thing. Far cry from this other energy. 
leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. Oh, yep, that's the fool energy. We saw that. Um, where is it? Right here with the fool. Leap, leap, and the soulmate will be delivered. It's definitely what I see here. Okay, Virgo, that's what I have for you. So I do hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.